We're back with Farming Sim. We are back with Farming Sim, back in my day, and it is the very last episode on this farm. We still have a lot to do today, so stick around. We're sad to go, but we may be back, right? We don't yeah. know. If you guys want us to come back to this farm at some point, give it a thumbs up. Let us know what you think. Did you enjoy the series at this farm? Did you not like it? Let us know in the comments. You ready to start? Yeah. First off, as you see, we built a fence all by hand, just us and Rufus, to try and protect the city from coming into our farm while we're gone in case we want to come back. There's a few things I want to take care of today before we leave that are really important as well, okay? So, the only thing we're taking with us, we decided to our new farm, wherever we're just going to load up in our car and just drive. And we're going to hopefully find a farm somewhere far, far away, just ourselves, maybe another city. We'll have to see. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to load up in the car here in a second. We're going to leave. We're going to build a new barn right here. We mowed the land. We flattened it. We're going to build a barn where we can lock some of our equipment in there. Everything we can't get under a barn or a shed, we're going to have to sell, okay? Okay. Also, we have a few things, like I said. We're going to have to run some errands. We're going to be nice guys to a few people, hopefully make their day, get them started, and uh, do something nice for some people, okay? You just want to start, start with that right away? Yeah. As you may remember, a long time ago, our local farmer, a friend of ours, used to be a friend of ours, lives right next to us. He tried to steal this from us. Do you remember that? Is that our green truck? Yeah. <gasps> it was him. Yeah. He stole it. Who did? The, I think it's our buddy. So what we're going to do since we're leaving town, he's starting his own farm. As if you can remember correctly, he stole it from us because he was he was down on himself. He didn't have no money. He's trying to start a farm. So he was in need. So we're going to do something nice. We're fortunate. We have all these tractors. We're leaving. We're going to give him the truck. What do you think? Be nice. He wants it. He needs it. He has nothing going for himself. He spent all his money on a new brand new combine. He has no way to haul the grain. So we're going to give him the truck. We're going to give him the truck, let him use it, it's his truck, and and hopefully that gets him jump started and gets him back on track. So we're pulling up to his farm here, as you can see, he spent all his money, I think he got a, what is that, a new Holland harvester? One of the old school ones? I can't really tell. Yeah, it's the old old New Hollands, it's a yellow, and he got a John Deere, it looks like a 40, 4740? 4755. He's got a plow in the back. He's got the corn header, and now he has some way to haul all his grain to the city. Um, I know he'll appreciate it. We have one more delivery we want to do. Can you guess? What was your guess? Hmm, what do you think? The tractor place. The tractor place? Close. So, if you remember, this one actually wasn't too long ago. Remember that old lady we got in a fight with? Now she wants cows and one of our tractors for lightning. Mm-hmm. We got in a fight about our horse. We're leaving. We have no one to take care of the horse. I know what you're going to do. You're going to give the horse back to her. You're right. We're going to give Tornado back to her. The other two horses have already been sold. She'll take care of Tornado enough to if we come back, maybe she'll give them back to us. You never know, right? So we're going to be nice. We're going to just let her have Tornado. We let her have the case tractor that we had gotten the big argument with. So now Tornado is hers. Tornado is loaded up in the truck. So let's run over to her farm. See what she has going on, and uh, we'll give her tornado, right? Let's be nice. Maybe us doing something nice for everybody else will help us find a, a good farm for us. Or maybe when we come back, they'll take care of our place. Maybe if it gets overgrown with trees, they'll chop them down. Or maybe they'll stop the city from knocking all of our stuff over. As you see, the city is pretty ruthless. They knocked over our abandoned farm. So it seems like they're not scared to just knock stuff over, right? So hopefully if we be nice to everyone else around us, they'll help us. So we're here at her farm. There's our case tractor. Remember that tractor? Yeah. We ended up giving it back to her. What? Her, yeah, her cows are just walking around. That one's floating. So this this lady's kind of crazy. Looks like she has some magical cows. I mean, look at this guy. Hello? Yeah. You too. You're eating me? He just ate our hat. No. And there you are, buddy. Let's tell him bye. You want to say bye to him? Bye. Bye, Tornado. We'll be back. Okay? Okay. We'll be back. Okay. He looks happy, though. Okay. Let's drive our truck back to our farm. And let's start boarding everything up, getting everything in the barns and the sheds. And then we'll say our farewell. We'll say bye to this farm for now. Possibly. Maybe. Oh, Dad, there's a new thing 
got the the date. Yeah, they got some new tractors here at the uh, at the shop. It looks like, but that's fine because we're leaving. So I really don't care. They're not ours. The city ruined our farm. I kind of like our farm with this gate though. It looks or this fence. It looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. I think Rufus likes it too. So we're gonna put this one down because it has some doors that we can open and close, and then we can lock them. So I think it's gonna work the best with this one. Right there. That should be pretty good. Let's see. That's big enough for our tractors. It should fit most of our tractors. Because I want to get everything undercover. Because we don't know how long we're going to be gone. So the more the better. This one will fit in there. I think our power wagon right there will also fit. Um, we'll be able to fit a lot of stuff under there. But we won't be able to lock it. Which I don't like. That means they might steal it. I mean you never know what's going to happen. That's why I want to be able to lock everything. Okay. We got it snugged in there. That looks pretty good. Let's grab... Hmm. Oh we got some tractors up here. All of our hay equipment. We can grab those too. We got the 2950 John Deere. We used this one for hay a lot. And that's pretty much all we used it for was hay. We've had this one a while. This was actually one of the first tractors we ever bought on back in my day, wasn't it? We yeah. bought this guy a very, very, very long time ago. Oh, watch out, Rufus! Rufus! <laughs> Rufus is anxious to, anxious to go. All right, we got to fold it up because it's not going to fit if we don't. So let's just fold it up right quick. There we go. Perfect. So now we can get this guy in here. I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to put this one in the barn because I don't really care if they steal this one because it's so... It's kind of a piece of junk. That's not? Yes, it is. This thing is junk. Straight doo-doo. That's, that's not straight doo-doo. Okay, it's not straight doo-doo. Okay, fine. <laughs> we'll, we'll try and put this one up too. I thought it was straight doo-doo. Maybe not. <laughs> Oh, it yeah, it is small and it can't do nothing. It has it no can, power. It can fit in the barn. Fine, we'll throw it in the barn. Alright, so maybe this tractor's not too bad. Let's lock this side. <laughs> it doesn't even have lock -o. It does look. <laughs> See? So we got that side locked. We still have a little room in here. Maybe we'll get one truck. This one will fit in there for sure. Alright, we got the power wagon in there. This one is full. That is all we're going to get in that barn. So it's locked up. All of our stuff that we can get is in that one. This, we'll just put it, uh, we'll probably just throw it in this barn, in this garage right here. Hopefully no one takes it. Because we're going to be taking our Camaro with us. Okay, the disc. We'll park the disc under the, uh, the awning right here. I think that'll be a good spot for this one. We'll move the planter probably under as well. You think this tractor's gonna fit in here? I was kind of banking on it fitting. I don't actually know if it's gonna fit. The tires might be too wide. Oh, it barely fit. I don't think we can fit anything else in here though. Do you? Yeah. You think we can fit one more tractor? Yeah. All right, let's try. Let's try and get that other John Deere in here. This one might fit. It's gonna be close. That would be pretty cool if we can get both of these in here. They were pretty much done. That'd kind of be all we need to get. Oh! No! All right, we got the forklift. Flip it back over. Let's see. I think it might fit. Oh, it's going to fit. Perfect. Look at that. I knew it. You're right. Look at that. So we got the 4840 with eight-wheel drive and the 4840 with four-wheel drive both in there. This thing could close. Yeah, the hardest part is uh, closing the shed. Okay, we got one door. Oh, we beat the door boss. We got it. We're done. So, like we said, this is not the end to back in my day. Maybe it's just the start. We're just going to go to a new farm. All right, Rufus. You ready? Yeah. Oh, you know what? You know what we didn't do? There you go. There's some food for the, for the road. Let's get the car started. How can we even get Rufus? All right. Rufus, you ready? Roll if you're ready. All right, he's ready. You gonna look at the farm one last time? Say goodbye to the farm? Yeah. All right, we started with one field. We made another field back there. I think that was the first barn we ever got. 
We built the second one. We got all of our animals. We built that. We got the abandoned farm. We got the silos. We lost the abandoned farm, as you know. But this was our farm. And maybe we'll be back. Right? Yeah. All right, Rufus. Load up, boy. Get on in the passenger seat. You gonna turn the radio on? Yeah! All right, let's ride. Huge thank you to all the guys who loved back in my day. It is still continuing. It will be back. I promise. Yeah. We're just going to go to a new map. So I thank you guys for all the suggestions for the maps we should go to. If you have any more or anything else you want to see on the new back in my day, we'll call it probably back in my day series two, part one. So we'll start over, but it'll still be series two. We're probably going to come back to this map if, if you guys want to. So if you want to go back to this map at some point, give the video a thumbs up. Me and Hudson would really appreciate it, right? Yeah. So, thank you guys for watching, watching. and until next time, make sure you thumbs up, up. like, subscribe, watch more of our videos. Yeah. Bye! Bye.